Yo, what's good everybody? It's Kevin Pack here. Welcome to a new video where we're doing a vlog today. We are doing a damn vlog. So I just want to take you guys through my day. Today is a Monday. It is um, September 14th. So um, it is, we're about freaking halfway through September. It's pretty awesome. Only a couple more weeks until the wonderful Q4 period of October. November, December, where all the sales and all the money is being made. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I just wanted to do a vlog and kind of take you guys through my day so far, uh, show you guys what I eat as well, and kind of where I stand at the moment right now with my current life and kind of with the business as well. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I apologize. Um, I should have filmed like what I had for breakfast and everything like that um, because I wanted to give you guys kind of like a perspective of what my diet is. Because if you guys know before this whole entrepreneurship thing, I was big into personal training and fitness, which I still am big into fitness and weight training. Um, but I am taking a actually not a new approach, but I guess like a more serious approach because the last six months I've been kind of like lazy with my diet um, but now I'm actually you know counting my macros counting my proteins carbs and fats uh, and I'm, my game plan is to basically recomp my body so body recomposition meaning that I am trying to take my body weight and it's not really much of the body weight but um, gaining a little bit of lean muscle mass and, and losing fat at the same time and that's what body recomposition is and ultimately you'll end up in the same body weight so I weigh about 150 right now and so the game plan is to be staying at 150 but become leaner and build a little bit more muscle all right so if you guys don't know what macronutrients are macronutrients are basically proteins carbs and fats and that's basically in every essential food it's basically what keeps us alive and everything. So the diet style that I track is not something kind of like a clean cut diet of just chicken and broccoli or anything like that or meal plants. It's basically counting my macronutrients. So counting foods that um, that have you know a certain amount of protein or carbs or anything like that. And I eat what I want within fitting those set numbers of macronutrients, a certain amount of grams of protein, carbs, and fats, whatever. So that's a quick little um, nutrition fact for you guys. So I use an app called Fit Genie. Looks like this, but well, there you go. And currently, uh, so far this morning, I've had 500 calories. I had uh, two eggs, some bacon, hash browns, and some fruit. Uh, and that thing came out to be roughly about 43 grams of carbs, 31 grams of fat, and then 27 grams of protein. Uh, and currently my protein intake is about at 160 grams. So basically almost one gram, a little over one gram per pound of body weight because I weigh about 150. Uh, so that's what's going on. So that's what I usually do. I check my macronutrients and I'm trying to get, you know, better at doing because I've been kind of lazy with it lately. So I'm getting on that. So optimizing my nutrition and then optimizing my weight training as well. And that all ties together with having a great and successful progressing business as well. So that's a whole game plan. Some things that I've already done this morning um, is basically go through my morning routine. Um, and then I just finished optimizing my advertising and everything like that. So basically, usually on Mondays, I kind of just take an overview of my entire business account. I look at how my ads are performing. Um, and then I kind of make decisions and based off of, you know, how it's doing, if it's profitable, non profitable, whatever, like I just stop optimizing. So I do those every Monday, and I kind of just let it run for another week. Um, and then after that, I usually script or record another YouTube video. But this time around, I'm doing a vlog. So I don't really have to script, I just have to talk to this camera so you guys can enjoy my vlog and everything so we are going to get to cooking that's the next thing i do um i gotta cook lunch because i have some new york steak hold up three pieces of new york steak um, i'm a big steak guy i love red meat unfortunately or i guess fortunately depends on that um so this should last me the entire week as well so i gotta cook that up so i can have that for lunch i gotta make rice i got a little it's that little rice cook pottery thing. Very amazing. Comes in clutch. It's the best way to make rice. But I gotta make some rice right now. And then I have a uh, coaching call, a consultation call with a, a student later today. And then we're gonna go train. And then my day is gonna be done from there. So we're gonna take you through the day. Um, let's take a look at my sales so far. So it's about 12.30 p.m. right now. 
and we've done six does that say 16 yeah pretty sure that's a 16 16 units so far today 300 dollars made today um a little over twenty seven thousand dollars in the last 30 days today's a little bit more slower than my my uh last few days last few days i kind of averaged around like twelve hundred dollars uh so that's where the business is at going so far we are coming to like the last half of september so i think things are going to actually slow down for the rest of the month but then it's going to pick up so it's basically like the calm before the storm it's just things are slowing down to get ready for that q4 period in october it's just going to shoot up really high demand's going to be a lot higher people are going to start shopping for christmas things uh so that is where i expect things to happen so if you guys can see the chart right here uh this is last year in september uh, where I was doing, I think that's like $10,000 in September. And then October is where I hit almost $20,000. Obviously I've already surpassed that in September. So I think for October, I can see somewhere around double of what I did in September. So maybe somewhere around like $60,000, possibly $50,000, somewhere around there is hopefully the goal of what I can reach for October. Um, and basically you can see September is really slow from last year and then it starts to climb 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 and then we have that big peak in December and essentially that's what I'm going to expect to happen this year for December or the whole Q4 period um, I think I'm gonna be able to like do like 1.5 times what my September or double is and then whatever happens in October I think I could double that in November and then whatever happens in November I could double it for December that's usually how it goes typically um, that's at least that's what happened last year. So hopefully that still happens or even does more. That's the game plan. Let's get to freaking cooking. All right, so we've got my New York steak ready to cook on the cast iron pan. This thing is a game changer when it comes to making really good food, really good meats and everything and cooking them. So we're gonna be throwing these beautiful guys on there. And I just seasoned these up with um, just some Himalayan pink sea salt. Um, and then black pepper, and then a little bit of this uh, Montreal spices seasoning. Focus there. Let me get some sunlight on it. There we go. So this is good stuff too. Throw it on there, and then we are going to cook these on maybe, they're kind of thick, so maybe about like four to five minutes on each side. If they were thinner, then I'd definitely cook them a lot slower, but that is what we're gonna have for lunch with a bunch of rice, a little bit of spinach. That's the game plan. Oh shit, I need to make rice. Yes, sir. We are done. That is beautiful. Got the rice cooking up. Definitely gonna enjoy this, and I am going to give you guys the macros on this. So I'm just having um, the white rice and the steak right now. So the macros on that. Um, hopefully, oh man, I don't know if I can get the total on this one. Uh, it's gonna be a total of 670 calories. Um, but we're gonna have a total of about, oh, about like 70 grams of protein. I'm gonna say about 45 grams of uh, carbs and then finishing off with about like 21 grams of fat. So that's basically what's gonna be the game plan of this right now. All right, great news guys. So it's about 2 p.m. right now and my Amazon account just hit over $400,000 in the last 12 months. Refresh that, boom, look at that. That's $400,000. That is a lot of cheddar right there, I'll tell you that. And I'm freaking super excited. It's only September and we've already hit $400,000. So once we hit October, November, December, I, I'm sure we can blast through that $500,000 mark, that, that half a million dollar mark for the year. And I'm super pumped and excited about that. So right now I have about a couple of hours until I have my coaching call. And right now I'm just, there are moments in time where I, I because of the business is so passive, it's easy to get caught up in just kind of letting your foot off the gas or just kind of, you know, staying stagnant and everything like that. But I know that I have these goals ahead of me. I know I want to hit this 500K. I know I want to hit a million dollars. I want to, to be able to scale my business and, and get it to a good point where, you know, like I, I'm making, you know, seven figures. That's like the goal, the big goal. I want to achieve it. I want to push for it. You know, when when those days where you kind of just feel like you might be stagnant or, you know, you're slowing down a little bit, you got to catch yourself, catch yourself immediately right there. And you got to remember, like, take it 
another step further, you know, take it one step at a time, one day at a time, but just taking that one more step forward to get you closer to that goal is where my focus is at right now. So even if it's just like a small task that puts me a little bit forward, that's what I'm gonna do. So, you know, I'm on my way right now is just, I'm just doing like product research while I'm waiting for other products to come in. Um, I'm doing more product research, looking to launch more products and I'm putting them in my list and getting my VA, my uh, employee Gloria, to start you know outsourcing talking to suppliers and everything like that that is the game plan right now but i don't know man i'm just i'm just fired up bro this is just crazy and i'm just so happy that i got to this but it still doesn't mean anything i can't take my foot off the gas right now i'm so close i have to push even further and break through that freaking five hundred thousand dollars like i i just know that i can't let, let off the gas right now this is amazing i'm enjoying this right now but i'm only gonna just enjoy this today because we're just gonna go back straight to work and we're gonna push through because that's what's important to me right now i'm not gonna let anything in my life get in the way of that and no matter what kind of struggles or bullshit i go through i know what's important to me and it's what i want to achieve and what my future is set for and that's the fucking goal right now so let's do this shit. all right guys so i have about 30 minutes until i have to do my coaching call but i'm going to get a pre-workout uh, meal in so i'm gonna have this power crunch bar and then this banana and then I'm gonna have some intra carbs, these gummy bears. I'm gonna have these during my workout. If you guys don't know what intra carbs are, and I'm sure you guys who are like new to fitness don't understand, like, why are you eating candy during workout? And it's because since I do strength training, um, I have really long workouts that are like three to four hours long. And so the carbs, the gummy bears, the carbs in them help keep me fueled and don't like basically uh, diminish my energy. So it keeps my energy level as high as possible. Um, and before I actually go work out, I always like to watch some uh, YouTube videos right there of other weightlifters just as motivation, inspiration, uh, kind of get my mindset ready for that. Uh, so that's what I usually do. So the next clip I will catch you guys is going to be at the gym. Um, but before that, I'm going to give you guys a sales update on my business right now. All right, refresh that. And that's where we're at so far. So we have a little bit, almost $600 for the day so far, uh, and we are gonna finish strong. All right guys, I'm sorry, but I completely forgot my camera at home. I was in a rush and I was too excited to come to the gym. So here we are at the gym right now. I'm warming up. I have some friends with me. Friend Josh over there. But I'm gonna post some footage, introduce some of my friends, and we're gonna get this thing going. Let's do this. We're doing snatches and cleaning jerks today. Let's run this shit. So, the reason why, first off, this is Josh, one of my best friends here. Now, the reason why I'm recording with my phone is because I fucking forgot my camera. Well, how does that make you feel? Uh, well, how do you feel about when I leave my water bottle at the gym? Bro, every fucking day. Every fucking day, this motherfucker. This guy has to call me. He has to call me. He's like, hey, you forgot your bottle again. <laughs> fucking running outside. Like... Yo, you chased me when I left with my car. I know. That was really bad. So, this is my relationship with Josh. It's it's a pretty solid one, to be honest. I'm gonna put you on my vlog, okay? Oh, okay. Put you on my vlog because you know why I'm recording my my what? My, my phone right now? Cause what? I fucking forgot my camera, so that's okay. why. But this is this is Tyler's the e He's part of the e ETF boys. ETF boys. Now stock boys for life. Oh, you know wait. how it is. He's probably not even in the shot right now. I'm probably not in the shot right now, but whatever, <laughs> dog. Why did you have a face the other way? Well, cause when I face it the other way, my face kind of looks weird because it flips the screen. Oh. Around. So this is the this is the vlog. You're always handsome. handsome. You're always oh, handsome. Oh, thank you. This guy flatters me too much. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished up snatches. We are going to do some clean and jerk right now. Antonio, how do you feel about some clean and jerks, bro? I'm feeling great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just getting a, he's squatting like right there. So he gets a really nice view of my ass from oh, yeah. here. So gold views right here, but we're going to get these clean and jerks going.
All right, guys, so I'm finally back at home. It's about 10 p.m. right now. Uh, I was at the gym for like three hours. I started at six and then finished at nine, but I was like talking to the homies for a bit. So I'm finally gonna like finish my last meal. I'm making a uh, turkey sandwich with some spinach and this deli sauce, this mustard. Hopefully this is good, I don't know. Um, but this is going to basically finish off all of my calories and macros. Um, so I'm going to be finishing off the day with 159 grams of protein, 205 grams of carbs, and 74 grams of fat. So that's, that's what I'm going to be finishing with my day. Uh, total calories is going to be about uh, 2,167 calories. So right on the spot so pretty solid quick little shout out to one of my students my amazon students uh his name is uh gerardo gerardo or something like that he just launched his product two weeks ago and this guy is making a killing that's him right there man so he did two thousand dollars let me show the screenshot look at that so almost $2,000 in his first two weeks of a launching using my strategies and my uh, PPC advertising strategies that I taught him. So I'm super happy, he's super proud of him. He's definitely gonna hit probably like four or $5,000 um, in his first month doing Amazon FBA. So I'm super proud of that. If you guys wanna learn how to do your own Amazon FBA business, if that's something you wanna do, your own side hustle, your own company or whatever, uh, check the link in the description below. I do have a course in mentorship where I actually do talk to my students and, and guide them and help them. Uh, so you guys can check that down below if you guys want to learn. But let's let's uh, check up on my sales and then we're gonna end this video. So we got about two hours left in the day so far and that's what I'm about to, I'll probably get like a couple more sales. About $900 for the day so far. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, definitely up from last month. So pretty solid day of sales if i do say so myself so thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as always go make that money take care of yourselves peace